Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing the final episode of the roster series. So I know it's been a while since the last roster episode. It's been about four months, but I mean, hey, we're here now. We're going to get a win with these three characters today. And once we do that, we will have a completed roster. And what I mean by that is we will have officially gotten a win with each of the characters on the roster. And I think that's pretty cool. So the characters we're going to be playing today are All Might, Gran Torino, and Sir Night Eye, Deku's mentors, and we're gonna try to get a win with each of these characters online today, and that is the plan, so let's just dive into it. Let's start off with Sir Night Eye and go from there. Alrighty, we're jumping into our first match and we're battling a Mineta. Ooh, okay. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, what do you got, Mineta? I don't really see many Mineta players online, so this will be pretty interesting, but um, while we're doing this, let's talk about Sir Night Eye. So, um, let's talk about him in the series first. So, Sir Nida in the series, I think is pretty interesting. Um, I think it's, like, really cool how, like, um, his quirk works. Like, I like his quirk. It's really interesting because, you know, it's, you know, just seeing into the future. But, like, you can do, like, a lot with that, like, combat-wise and, like, planning-wise. Because, like, they planned ahead by being able to, like, map out, like, the base with Sir Nida's quirk. I think that's really good for, like, intelligence and stuff. Um, also, what the heck was that interaction? Uh, but also, I think it's cool combat-wise because, you know, when he was battling Deku, he was able to, like, you know, be able to see Deku's attacks coming before they even came. And I think that's cool combat-wise. So overall, like, I think his quirk is really good for, like, um, combat and um, planning ahead, and I really like it. And I just like how it looks in the series with, like, the uh, kind of, like, um, kind of, like, film role they use. I think that's pretty cool. And just overall, like, he's a pretty cool character. I like how, like, he's, like, the serious character, but, like, he also wants to make people, like, smile and feel good with, like, his jokes and stuff. Like, he really likes, like, laughter and, like, you know, um, jokes and stuff. And just overall, like, he's a pretty interesting character. Like, I like his history with, like, All Might and stuff. Like, I like that, like, kind of, like, backstory we got and stuff. And just overall, he's a pretty solid character in the series. Um, I was pretty sad when he died um, in Season 4. Um, but I was also pretty impressed because it's like, Sir Night Eye was just introduced to us. Like, you know, like he was only in season four for like one arc. And when he died, I felt sad, you know? And I thought that was pretty impressive how they were able to take this character that was only with us for like one arc and make us feel sad, or at least me, it made me feel sad because, you know, he died. But like, it was pretty impressive because he wasn't even in the series for that long. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, which overall in the series is pretty cool. Um, in the game, I don't really play him all that often. He's one of those characters um, I don't really play too much. Um, I think I mentioned that in the video once before, but um, when I do play him, he's pretty interesting. Um, the only reason why I don't really play him is just because he's just not really my playstyle personally, but um, he's still pretty cool. Like when I do play him, you know, from time to time, like it's pretty refreshing because he has a different type of playstyle. Like um, I like his counter. I like how um, it's his quirk, you know, with um, foresight. I think that's pretty cool. Um, does this work? Oh my goodness, that worked. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like how it looks being able to like see the kind of like attacks before they come out. I think that looks super cool in the game and stuff. And yeah, I just like how it works. It's pretty interesting because for first off, it's a counter. So that means it relies on the kind of like opponent and foresight relies on the opponent in the series as well. So I like how that like translates into the game. I also like how like the animations work and stuff being again, able to like see the opponent's attacks come out before they even come out. And um you know, that's how it works in the series as well, being able to, like, see the opponent's attacks as they come out, you know, or before they come out, um, because you can see the future. I like that. I think that's super cool. And just overall, like, I like that gimmick. Also, his projectiles, they're wild. Because even though I don't play Serenade all that often, my one friend plays them, like, all the time. And let me tell you something, like, if you have, like, really good aim, because you can actually aim his, like, projectiles, and if you're good at, like, aiming and, like, predicting, his projectiles are wild. They do a good amount of damage. I wouldn't say they do a lot, but like they do a good amount of damage and then stack that on top of how fast they come out of him or not come out of him. That sounds weird. Um, how fast he throws them. Like it's, it's pretty insane. Like it's pretty good. And then also like if you can predict and aim well, like it's a pretty busted projectile, but I wouldn't say it's a broken projectile just because you do have to aim it and stuff. And just overall, like I think that doesn't make it broken because you know, it's not like it auto tracks. I mean, if he's standing right in front of, like, you know, the opponent and they're just standing there, then you don't really have to aim it. But, like, you know, I can 
aim it and angle it and stuff and just overall like um that's why i don't think it's too broken um another thing that i do think is pretty busted is his level one because for whatever reason his level one comes out so quick and it does like a lot of damage like look at that like look how much damage that did and normally in my mind in this game the level ones that do like a ton of damage or like the characters that have level ones that do like a lot of damage are like some of like the most powerful characters in the series like for example all for one endeavor bakugo todoroki um and you know those characters are super powerful in the series and sir night eye his level one does like a lot of damage just like those characters but i wouldn't say sir night eye is like one of the most powerful characters in the series you know like i'm sure his quirk again is really good for combat and like planning and stuff but like it's not like no half cold half hot or explosion you know like so i think it's kind of wild how good his level one is like again it's super fast and it does like an insane amount of damage like it's wild like watch this even if he blocks if you have like meter you know like if you have like a ton of meter saved up it can do like a guard break pretty easily now granted you can roll like mineta did so i guess there is kind of like an ability or a way to dodge it i'm just saying it's a pretty busted level one um but there are ways to beat it obviously you can roll like mineta did but yeah that's sir night eye an overall really cool character in this game and just a really cool character in the series um, but anyway, GG that Mineta, and let's move on to Gran Torino. Alrighty, we're jumping into our next match, and we're battling a Deku. Ooh, okay, so it's going to be a student versus teacher fight. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, so we're battling Deku. It's a base Deku, okay. So let's see what he can do. Ooh, okay, not bad, not bad. Um, we gotta watch out for that charge, the projectile, but let's talk about Gran Torino. So Gran Torino, um, where do we want to start? Ooh, nice guard break. Um, let's talk about him in the game. So Gran Torino in the game, I think is actually pretty cool. I like how they were able to like get his movement down like super well. Like he really feels like Gran Torino in the series. Like the movement is so spot on. It's so crazy. And I like how he like is able to like dodge certain attacks with like the movement and stuff like it's just super cool i also love his red attack like it's so goofy and it's, it's just so cool i like it and just overall he's a really cool character like he's just really really cool like he's a really fast character again i like how he moves and is able to like dodge certain attacks like he's just overall like a really cool character in the series he's also a really cool character like i like how he was able to like help deku kind of like master one for all in like a way where he doesn't like hurt himself anymore i think that's pretty cool and just overall he's just a really really cool character you know like he's one of like the best mentors deku has had and i just like him like he's just a really cool character i love his history with like all might and like all might's um, master and stuff i think that's pretty cool and yeah i also like how he's kind of like doing like a lot of detective work um you know being able to like uh He's basically kind of like working with like the police force and stuff. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, he's just a really, really cool character. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, was I the only one who thought that he was going to die when they were battling like all for one? Like I thought he was going to die when um, they were battling all for one. Like, you know, like all for one kind of punched him in the face, if I remember correctly. You know, like I thought he was going to die right then and there, but he didn't. And, you know, I'm glad he's not dead because I think he's a cool character. Um, he reminds me, obviously, a lot like Yoda, um, you know, because I'm pretty sure the creator takes, like, a lot of inspirations off of, like, you know, Marvel and Star Wars and stuff. I mean, there are certain locations literally named after Star Wars, you know, so. But, yeah, he reminds me of Yoda, and I really like that. And, yeah, he's just a really, really cool character. I don't know what else to say about him. He's just cool. Um, but let's see if we can turn this around because the Deku did get one match, so... Let's see if we can make a comeback here. Um, oh, I can't extend off of that. It's fine. Um, okay. Red attack. Ooh, okay. Just avoid the net. Wait this out. Ooh, nice, nice. And then, boom. There we go. There we go. I do have meter saved up, um, but we gotta watch out for his projectiles, because that's something Gran Torino doesn't have. Um, but we have Serenite Eye to get hit in the face. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with a red attack and miss it. Oh, no. Oh no, that's not going to kill, but like, it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, okay. I think the smartest move is just to wait this out. Yeah, okay. Yes, let's go, Sir Night Eye. Oh my goodness, I thought Hatsume was going to stop me, that's why I waited. Um, but Sir Night Eye covered me right there. Sir Night Eye just covered my mistake. Let's go. Um... Alright, block that. Perfect. Let's do my level one. 
There we go. There we go. Boom. 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 Nice. In the ground. We can extend the combo. Boom. 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 And then let's do this. Oh, and completely mess up the combo. It's fine. Oh, nice roll. Okay. So now I cover me again. Uh, you sort of did it. Nice try, though. Nice try, Sir Night Eye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, let's do this. And let's do this. I'm coming at you. There we go. And let's go with that movement again. Boom, boom. Avoid the net. Watch out for that. And then boom, boom. Opening. Let's do this. Completely miss again. Um, Alright, let's just do this. Bing. I just love his movements. His movements feel so cool in this game. Like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go red attack. Whee! This red attack is so goofy. I love it. <laughs> let's do it again. Whee! Oh, okay. Invincibility frames kind of messed me up there, but it's fine. Let's level one. Um, I don't know if this will kill or not, but it'll at least put him in the ground and cause a ground splatter. Oh, no, it kills. Okay. We're all good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wasn't sure if that was going to kill or not, but um, I mean, it worked out in the end, and Deku's just in the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, GG that Deku player, and uh, yeah, let's move on to All Might. Alrighty, we're jumping into our next match, we're battling an All Might. Ooh, okay, so it's going to be the Battle of the All Mights. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so it's going to be an All Might versus All Might match. This is going to be pretty interesting. I mean, we're really getting the All Might experience, like, this last match. That's crazy. But let's talk about All Might. So... In the game, I think All Might is kind of like the perfect definition of like a mid-tier character. Like, I think him and All For One are like the perfect definitions of mid-tier characters. Just because, well, at least for All Might, he has like a little bit of everything. Like, he has like a projectile, he has close quarter abilities, um, he has the ability to kind of like do wall splatters and like ground splatters and stuff, and he also has like the ability to kind of like close the distance. So like overall, like he has like a little bit of everything, and that's why I think he's kind of like a mid-tier character or like a perfect definition of a mid-tier character because he can do like a little bit of everything overall like he's a pretty solid character and i like him like i like his moveset i like how he has like a little bit of everything and just overall like i like him like i think he's a cool character um oof, okay nice 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 we gotta bring the comeback though here we go here we go we're about to bring the comeback but yeah i like all might in this game i think he's cool um in this series i mean come on it's All Might. I like him. I think he's a cool character. Um, he is literally just a hero, like the perfect definition of a hero. Um, I love his kind of like relationship with like Deku. Like I think it's cool, like that teacher and student kind of relationship. Um, I like how he's like this symbol of peace and stuff. And I just love how, you know, the world is kind of like, kind of like built. Um, how do I put this? Um, I like how like the world kind of feel super safe like all might you know and that really set up like this like standard i think that's what i'm trying to say like the world kind of has this like standard with like all might being like this symbol of peace and stuff and then like i love how you know in the beginning of the series like we see like what that is like like with him being like the symbol of peace but then after all might's battle like with you know all for one we get to see like how it's changing and like how it's adapting to like this new standard without All Might being the symbol piece and I think it's super interesting and I just love like what All Might like represents and stands for and stuff and I like how like the world has to like change after he is like kind of like no longer in like the hero scene you know like he's still a hero and stuff like that but just like not like one that's like fighting crime and stuff and I just think it's a really cool kind of like um kind of like thing in the series I think it's pretty cool um you know, with, like, that whole symbol of peace question, like, what does it mean to be, like, a symbol of peace? And, you know, I just, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, and also, All Might's fight scenes, like, they're crazy good. Like, you know, with him and Nomu, with him and All For One, like, they are really good. And also, am I the only one who thought All Might was gonna die in the All For One fight? Like, just like Gran Torino, like, I thought All Might was gonna die there as well. Him and uh all for one like i definitely thought gran torino all for one and all might were gonna die in that battle but they all managed to make it out so that's pretty impressive but yeah i thought they were definitely all gonna die in that battle but um yeah they're still kicking it um you know i like all might now i like how he's kind of like that um kind of like that wise person you know who's kind of like experienced and even though he's not really in the fight anymore he still kind of got like that knowledge to be able to pass on to like other people you know i like that i like that 
And I'm pretty interested to see what they will do with All Might in the future, you know? Like, I definitely am really interested to see what they're going to do with him in the future. And just overall, I think he's a really cool character in the series and in the game. And that is the final win with uh, All Might. Um, anyway, GG that All Might. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of All Might. <laughs> Alrighty, but I think I'm going to wrap the video up here now. So yeah, we got a win with All Might, Gran Torino, and Sir Night Eye, thus completing the roster series. That is wild. That means we have gotten a win with every single character on the roster online. That is crazy. Oh man, that is super cool. But yeah, I mean, All Might, Gran Torino, and Sir Night Eye, I would definitely say are some pretty cool characters in the game and in the series. Um, I like each of the characters in the game. I like Sir Night Eye's gimmick with his counter and like his like foresight ability. I think that's really cool in the game. Um, I like Gran Torino's movements and stuff. Like they really feel like Gran Torino in the series. And I like how he can like dodge attacks in the game and stuff like that. And like I like how fast he is. And All Might, I like how he's kind of like an all-rounder. Like he has a little bit of everything. I think he's a really cool character in the game. And in the series, I like them all. I think they are really cool characters. Um, and I also like how they were able to teach Deku in some way. I think that's pretty cool. And just overall, these are just some really solid characters. And yeah, that is the final episode of the roster series, I suppose. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this final episode of the roster series. And I hope you guys just enjoyed the series in general. Um, if you guys did, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Later.